we're standing in front of part of what would be the proposed Chumash Heritage National Marine Sanctuary. It would close the gap between the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary and the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary and ban offshore oil, natural gas extraction, seismic testing, and pollution off the waters of our coasts. This is the first tribally led nominated marine sanctuary put forth by a coalition of like-minded NGOs, environmental activists, and tribal communities. The Shumash have been the stewards and guardians since time immemorial by Western archaeology approximately 20,000 years. The amazing thing about this movement is that we have come from a very small, under-resourced community, grassroots movement, and we had been working hand in hand with the Shumash tribe. The Shumash people are ocean going people. We lived by the ocean. It sustained us through food and through trade and through ceremony. One of our sacred places here for the Shumash people is what we call Leisa Mu, and that's Moral Rock. It's one of the sacred places for our people to journey, to pray for solstice ceremony, for winter and summer solstice ceremony. This is part of the California Current, which starts up in Alaska and then comes all the way down to Baja, Mexico. That current carries the food web that we rely on. And with this big open space that does not have National Marine Sanctuary designation and protection, it's a big hole where so many things could go wrong. If the Shumash Heritage National Marine Sanctuary is designated, it would provide increased protection for some of our most significant keystone species. The southern sea otter, which makes its home over by Moro Rock, is one of the main species that will benefit from the sanctuary. All the whales, all the marine invertebrates. You'll see the great pelicans here. You'll see the snowy egrets and the blue herons. In this area that we're trying to get designated, we are seeing the impacts of global climate change in temperature rising, sea level rising, and the ocean acidification in particular is being found at two times the amount of the world's oceans. This is a project that brings together inclusion, environmental justice, indigenous communities, and underserved communities. It's powerful. Some of our elders have spent their whole life trying to protect the coastline, trying to protect the sacred sites. We would say that our ancestors are always with us. They're in the ocean, they're in the water, they're in the air we breathe, they're in the sea, they're in the sparkles on the water. Mm -hmm. 